They told us it was impossible, that Georgia was a lost cause. But the history of America's labor movement is the story of defying the impossible. See, our opponents like to underestimate us. They always will. But we proved them wrong once again. Working people delivered Georgia and the presidency for Joe Biden. We could have quit then, but we don't quit. Instead, we regrouped, we remobilized. With two Georgia Senate seats in play and a pro-worker Senate on the line, working people shocked America two more times. We elected Reverend Raphael Warnock and John Ossoff by making phone calls to voters, knocking on doors, and canvassing workplaces, by partnering with constituency groups and allies, by once again defying the so-called impossible. Union members delivered in 2020 and again in 2021. And now it's time for the real results, real COVID-19 relief, the PRO Act and labor law reform, infrastructure investment, and much, much more. Campaigns come to an end, but movements endure. And nothing, nothing is more powerful than a united labor movement. Thank you for defying the skeptics, meeting the moment, and demonstrating the collective power of the American labor movement. God bless you.